This is the highly accurate sound level detection sensor that I recently purchased for one of my products. This sensor can be used to make a highly accurate or precise decibel meter. The decibel meter measures sound level and intensity in dB SPL. This sensor can measure the sound level or noise between 35 to 115 decibels. In this project, I built a decibel meter. For that, I used an ESP32 Wi-Fi module and a 0.96 inches OLED display. I interfaced with the sound sensor using I2C pins. Here is the demo of the decibel meter that displays the decibel values at different frequencies. The decibels values are not only displayed on OLED display, rather the sound values are also logged into an IoT platform called UV dots. Using the UV dots, you can remotely monitor the real-time value of the decibel meter. The data are also saved in visual graphical format and hence you can use it in future for data analysis. Here is the comparison of the whole day that explains at what time the value of sound level in PG streets was lower or higher. Watch this video till the end for proper understanding. Also, support us by likes and comments. This video is sponsored by Altium 365. The Altium 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCV design, AMCAD, data management, and teamwork. With Altium 365, you can do the PCV designing task. You can share your project over a way for review purposes. Interact with mechanical designer for mechanical design. It also provides centralized cloud storage. It helps you with components management as it has the fastest search engine. It can also allow your team to work together on a single product. Finally, you can send your design to a manufacturing unit. To get started with a free trial, check the first link in the description. Welcome back again. This decibel meter module offered by PCB Artist is a compact, low power and precise instrument for measuring sound pressure levels in dv spl this decibel meter module can be easily interfaced with hardware like arduino esp32 raspberry pi or similar devices it uses the i square c protocol for communication which just requires two wires the i square c address is 0 cross 48 it can detect the sound level from 35 dB to 115 dB with an accuracy of plus minus 2 dB SPL. It can detect the sound level with a frequency range of 30 Hz to 8 kHz. The sensor also doesn't require any calibration as it's factory calibrated. To see more specification, we have created a dedicated article on our website. You can read that. The register mapping and address details of the I2C pins are described by the sensor manufacturer. You can use these addresses for creating an Arduino or a MicroPython code. For the demo, I will be using ESP32 Wi-Fi module for interfacing. Using the circuit diagram, first connect the sensor with ESP32 using jumper wires. I then developed this code using the datasheet. Then I uploaded the code. After uploading the code, I opened the serial monitor and found out the sensor is working very fine and giving me a value of 35 to 40 decibels. This is the average sound level of a quiet room according to some articles I found on the internet. Now, what I did is I connected a 0.96 inches I2C OLED display module to the ESP32 so that I can visualize the data on OLED screen. I also wanted to send the data to the IoT dashboard, so I selected the UV Dots platform. 
I then created an account on UV Dots. I added the device called ESP32 and created a variable called the decibel meter. On the dashboard, I added a gauge display for real-time visualization. Then I also added another widget called graph so that I can see the logged data as per the time. Then I modified the code to display the data on OLED and also added a few lines of code to send the data to UV.server. Then I uploaded the code. After uploading, the test begins. The ESP32 will connect to the Wi-Fi network and OLED will start displaying the real-time value of sound level in dB SPL. For the quiet room, the sound level of 30 to 40 dB is an average value. I'm testing the values of my own room now. When the ceiling fan is running, I observe the sound level of around is 40 to 40 dB. To test the proper working, I played music from YouTube. So here is the result that you can see. The sound level fluctuates as per the music paid. To test this properly, I download the app called Frequency Generator from Play Store. This app can produce sounds of various frequencies. So let's test this now. So you observe the variation, right? Now you can go to the UV dots dashboard as well. Here is the logged data of sound level in dB as per time. You can place the device remotely and observe the sound level from any part of the world. The logged data can be used for further analysis. This is the graph generated by the sensor manufacturer based on 24 hour observation. It can be found the decibel values vary as per day and is always high in peak hours. Alright, if you want to purchase this sensor, you can check out the first link in the description. That's all from the video about today. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.